Hello everyone, we will continue that topic, concept of text table. And yes, as a part of that, we created the primary key table, we created the text table, we assign the relationship between both of them. And yes, after that, we are able to see that for this primary key table, this is our text table. Now we need to maintain the data. Yes, because customer want to maintain the language specific data. That's why we created the text table. Now what we will do, we will generate the table maintenance generator for both the tables and then we will maintain that data. Uh, whenever we will maintain that data, then huge amount of learning will come. Now, firstly, I will go to our primary key table. I will go to change mode. Utilities, table maintenance generator. Now, firstly, we will go for authorization group. Turn itself is saying how many users are authorized in that group to maintain the data. Now, from the training perspective, any user can maintain that data. So I will simply, simply choose M% and C M% and you all know this authorization group will not check for any authorization. It is without authorization group. Any user can maintain that data. If you want more detailed understanding, just check the table maintenance generator topic in the ABAP dictionary playlist. Now I will put same table name in the function group. I will go for one step, find screen number. Okay, and you can see in case of one step, overview screen is applicable and we got the overview screen number. Maximum people do up to this level and they will say we are not able to maintain that data through SM30. See, your TMG has not generated yet. You need to click on to create button. Save, save. Now, I will simply get a message here. Request completed successfully. It means my TMG has been generated. Now, same way, I will maintain that TMG for the text table. Now, this is our text table. I can navigate from primary key table also. That's not a concern. So, I will go for utilities, table maintenance, generator. Now, this is our authorization group. Yes, same table name I will put into function group. I will go for one step. Find screen number. Okay. Now, TMG has not generated. I should click on to this create button. Now, the TMG will generate. After that, I will go to SM30 transaction code. Now, whenever I will go to SM30 transaction code, the first important learning will come. Firstly, I will go to primary table. I will show you primary key table. I will click on to edit button in your system. It might be maintain button. I will go to edit. And people will simply, simply say in the primary key table, we have only one column that is item ID. If I will show you primary key table, if I will show you primary key table, this is our primary key table. And you will see in this table, we only take item ID. Now the question comes, how item description came here? And when we studied the concept of text table, at that time, I put so much stress onto that point that in case of in primary key table, 
we can check that text in logon language for the non key fields of the text table just see your text table this is extremely important from the interview perspective generally interview ask the question yes in your primary key table what is visible to you yes and just see this is your text table this is your text table just check in this text table what is the non key field item description is the non key field and have you seen it is automatically appearing into our primary key table so it is not the part of primary key table but we are able to see just remember when i showed you the concept of mara and mkt table this is our mara table and what is the corresponding text table this is our text table now in this text table we have non key fields mktx and maktg if you see this mara table there is no maktx sorry i will put the right name there is no maktx there is no matkg but yes if you will go to the mara table you can check the contents of the non key fields or non key fields of the text table but in the logon language logon language at that time i showed you the logon language is english and i am able to see the text into logon language same concept is here we created the primary key table we created the text table and yes what is the non key field of the text table this is the non key field of the text table and it is appearing here now i will go to new entries and then i will show you further few important points i will go to new entries suppose i am saying item id 1 item description t now maximum people will ask you are putting description then it will be in which language as of now because there is no provision to put the language into primary key table i use the word system i use the word logon language it means whatever i am putting here it will be in english language now suppose i am putting two two will be your coffee suppose i will put three three will be milk i will save so these three entries which i put it is in english language i have not put the language but it is taking the logon language logon language is english now people will ask if i want to now because that is our requirement we want to maintain the text into multiple languages then you need to go for where you need to go to text table i told you in text table we can go for or we can check the text into all the languages we will go for maintain the text into through the text table so i will go to sm30 transaction code and now i will show you text table and you will get guaranteed 100% clarity i will go to edit and you will be able to see it is saying your data is logged logged see i have not logged the text table if i will close everything i have not logged the text table i logged my primary key table but still system is giving me the error because both are connected with each other yes so it means i should close this most most important point now i will go for edit now it is allowing me to maintain and have you seen 
English language came automatically, whatever I maintained it. Yes. Now I can put that text into other languages. Suppose I will go to new entries. Suppose I will go for German language now. DE German is DE. Suppose item ID. Now the most most important part. Have you seen? We are only only able to see one, two, three item ID. You cannot go for item ID four because four is not in the primary key table. This is what we did. That will act as a check table here. So you cannot put that item ID which is not in the primary key table. So yes, we can only go for one, two, three. Suppose in German language, it is called as T is called as T double E. Now in the German language, I will go for item ID two. And coffee is called as cafe. Now I will go for DE. Now I will go for item ID 3. And now it will be called as Mitch. Now I will save. And you can see in this text table, we are able to maintain that data into multiple languages. Now I will display that data of both the tables and you will get 100% guaranteed clarity. This is our first table, ZRT item. Now in this table, we have only item ID is the column. I will go to contents. If I will execute, have you seen? We are able to see that description also, but in logon language. So have you seen? We are able to replicate the same to same behavior which SAP did. Now, if I will go to text table, in the text table, we will be able to see all the text, all the text into multiple languages. Now we are able to see each and everything. Now, if I will show you further, further clarity. Now, suppose we have now English also, German also. Suppose I will log in into German now. Suppose I will put DE. Now, whenever I will go for primary key table, I will only only able to see that data into now German language. You can see we are able to see that data into German language, which we put. If I want to see all the data, I will simply simply go to text table and I will go for now all that data yes, this is the page so we are able to see each and everything which sap provided and this is extremely extremely huge important concept generally interviewer will ask so many questions from this particular understanding only so what is the summary of this particular video in this video Firstly, we maintained the TMG for both the tables. After that, we went to our first table. But in the first table, the first question which comes from everyone's mind, we have only item ID in the primary table. How item description came? And that is the first important question from the interview. The non-key fields of text table will appear into your primary table. So item description is appearing here. Now, I maintained the item ID. I maintained the item description. Now people ask, 
there is no provision there is no way there is no a uh, field for language so whatever the description you are putting it is in which language it is in your dog own language after that if i want to maintain that data into other languages yes i should go to text table but do not forget to close the session of your primary table otherwise you will get a lock because both are connected with each other after that i simply went to edit and i maintained the data into general language also then i show you validation part i cannot put that item id which is not in the primary key table then what i did i showed you the data of our primary key table we are only only able to see in the log on language and yes after that i logged into the german language and showed you that we are able to see the data into the german language so these two points are extremely extremely important in the primary key table you can maintain or check the data into log on language for the non key fields of the text table and yes if you want to go for all the data you need to go to text table so that's it in this particular video thank you